Hi everyone, welcome to the launch of a brand new series I'm starting on the channel. And I'm really excited about this because I love all the little tips and tricks that come with kind of deep dive videos. So my plans are to take one block, kind of a traditional block or kind of a common block and do a deep dive into techniques and tips and tricks like which way should you press your seams? And how can I make this so I can trim it down so I get perfect points? And all of those great little techniques that you learn when you're making a block. So each time we do a video, we're gonna do the same block in a couple of different sizes. And these are not your traditional sizes. I hate wasting fabric. I hate it when I get a pattern for something like a layer cake quilt and it has me cut a little two by four inch square out of a layer cake and then the rest is not even used. So what I've done is I've sized these blocks to get the biggest block possible out of a layer cake and then we are going to do a 12 inch square because everyone loves swaps, right? And then we are also going to do the big block, the biggest block you can make out of a fat quarter or two, we'll see, however many um, colors your block is kind of looks best in. So something like the Dutchman's Puzzle block, which is the first one up, is um, two colors plus background. So it's a really big block and I expect many of these will be really big blocks where you can maybe get away with just making four or nine of them and have a pretty good size quilt. In addition to the regular size blocks, there will also be some little foundation paper piece versions for little teeny tiny blocks because they're super adorable and I've already done the diagrams anyway, so why not include them? Now, the fat quarter size is one of my favorites because first of all, it's gigantic, it goes really fast, but it's also really great for those big prints that you have that you don't necessarily wanna cut up into little tiny pieces. So this will be a great opportunity if you have some of those, um, special fabrics that you've been afraid to cut into because you don't want to lose what makes those prints so special. So be sure to earmark a couple of really great big prints for some of these great big blocks if you choose to go that route. Now these blocks will kind of follow my traditional block construction technique where I like to make components whenever possible a little bit oversized so that I can trim them down. I think that it's worth the extra step to make your blocks come out really perfect. Like if you make a half square triangle and have just a little bit of room to kind of cut around and square it up, then you're not gonna lose those points or where they connect in the center of the block. So that's something that you're gonna see in these patterns and Hopefully you like it as much as I do. I think it's worth all the time and effort. So let's talk about background fabric. In addition to the layer cake squares and little bits and pieces of print fabric, as well as the fat quarters that will be your, your main print fabrics, there's also gonna be a little bit of background fabric included in these blocks. And I haven't given you specific yardage for these individual blocks for the background yardage because I usually work off bolts and I'm gonna tell you why and I hope I can make a compelling case for you to invest in a bolt of fabric. So I looked at prices and at a couple of online shops for Kona White, and here are some prices that I found. And most of these shops don't offer free shipping or the free shipping is quite high. So if you're gonna order just say five yards, it's gonna cost you quite a bit. I buy my fabric by the bolt for this one reason. It is so much more cost effective. When I first started quilting, the thought of buying bolts of fabric was like, what? That is way too much fabric, I will never use it but I found myself buying white Kona or black Kona or gray Kona, kind of all of my basic fabrics over and over and over again. I was paying shipping. I was just the environmental impact of having that thing shipped to me multiple times over again. And so I decided to take a look. How much does it cost to buy a bolt of fabric? So I buy my bolts usually from fabric.com. I find that they have the best prices and they also have bulk discounts. Now, this is not sponsored by fabric.com. I don't have any affiliate or affiliation with them or I don't get like a kickback or anything. I'm just telling you my experience and how I get the best price on basic fabrics. So if you take a look at fabric to come, um, they're having a little bit of shipping issues right now because of all the shutdown, but Kona cotton is $5.05 per yard if you buy 15 yards, which is how much comes on a bolt. So if you buy 15 yards, it's gonna cost you about $75 and you're gonna get free shipping. So that means if I'm gonna make 
maybe two or three quilts with white as a large component of a background, then if I buy a bolt, I'm basically getting like a quilt's worth of background fabric for free. And I always have it here ready to go whenever I wanna make a quilt. Whatever color you choose is gonna be up to you. Obviously, you do not have to buy a bolt of fabric. I would say if you're gonna make a quilt with let's say 12 inch blocks, about a four by five layout, you're probably gonna need four yards of fabric for the background on the very outside. And you can probably get your binding out of that too if you're careful. But I do buy mine by the bolt. It's really great to have those favorite colors of mine ready and waiting to sew with. So I keep Kona white, black, and then two shades of gray. I keep mushroom and then I think it's called Ash. And those are the colors I always have on hand. And then I have occasionally bought a bolt of another color, like you're gonna pry my bolt of pickle from my cold dead hands. It is my favorite Kona color. So if there's another color that really jumps out at you and you think you're gonna use for a main component of a front and even a backing of a quilt, like that requires a lot of yardage. So think about buying a bolt. Maybe I've convinced you. Maybe I haven't, but it's just something to consider if you are gonna be buying a lot of fabric in one color. So the PDF downloads for each block will contain all of the sizes that um, I've kind of mapped out and done the math for. The layer cake, the 12 inch block, the fat quarter gigantic block, and the little paper pieced, little tiny jobs. And for each video, I will be focusing on the 12 inch version just because it's pretty compact and kind of easily fits within the the frame of my YouTube box here. All of the blocks you'll see me make are the 12 inch versions, but I have made all of them. For my blocks, I will be using a line of Juicy Juice fabric that I have uh, kind of dedicated to this project. Um, I'm not sure how long it'll last since I am making multiple versions of every block that we're gonna do. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with them all. Um, kind of plan wise for the end. I'm debating if I want to sew all of the big blocks together or if I want to sew all of the same blocks together with all the different sizes. I don't know yet. <laughs> um, those plans are still kind of up in the air, but the great part about using a bundle for a project like this is that no matter which way I decide to go, it's all going to go together at the end. So I can make tiny blocks and big blocks and mix them up, or I can make all big blocks and it'll all match. It'll all look like a cohesive project at the end. So we are ready to start the first block, which is one of my favorite blocks, the Dutchman's Puzzle. And I have a few really handy tricks for you for making those flying geese. Grab a layer cake or a fat quarter bundle or use your scraps for the 12 inch versions, however you wanna do it. And um, we will be back with the first video in the series very soon. And if you can't wait until that, then I'm gonna post another video here that I think you might like. It's on another full quilt tutorial and it's a fast one. I think you could probably bust it out um, before we even start. So take a look, I think you'll really like it. Have a great day and happy quilting. Favorite colors of mine, ready and ready, ready.